Welcome to Simply Simple. How to keep everything simple? Mastering Grammar. Topic 1. Noun and its types. The topics covered are what is a noun, common noun, proper noun, collective noun, countable and uncountable noun, abstract and concrete noun. What is a noun? A noun refers to a person, place, animal or things. Yes, you are a noun. The places you go, the animals you see and the things you use are all nouns. Common noun, proper noun. When I speak of a person, place, animal or things in general or when I refer to them in common, it is called a common noun. But when I refer to a specific person, place, animal or things, it is called a proper noun. Now let us see some examples. When I say school in general, it is common noun. But when I mention one particular school, it is a proper noun. When I say students in general, it is a common noun. When I say one particular student, it is a proper noun. When I say cats in general, it is a common noun. If I say one particular cat like Tom or Spots, it is a proper noun. When I say ocean, it is a common noun. If I say one particular ocean like Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean, it is a proper noun. When I say students go to the library, I refer to all the students. Therefore, students is a common noun. But if I say one particular student, Sarah go to the library, Sarah is a proper noun. Similarly, car is a common noun and any specific brand of the car is a proper noun. Proper noun always starts with a capital letter. Our next category is collective noun. It is a word or a phrase that refers to a group of people or things as one entity. In simpler term, it refers to more than one. The examples are, if I see a bird, I say, I see one bird. If I see more birds, I should say, I see a flight of birds. Similarly, I ate a bowl of rice, I want a carton of milk. Similarly, I saw a flock of turkeys. I saw a flock of sheep. I see a fleet of ships. I want a stack of wood. Moving on to our next category, countable and uncountable nouns. As you can see, lemons, eggs and tigers are all nouns and can be counted. And hence it comes under countable noun. But rice, sand, sugar cannot be counted so it comes under uncountable noun. So the nouns that can be counted are countable noun and which cannot be counted are uncountable nouns. Countable nouns can be singular or plural verbs. Uncountable nouns always take singular verbs. So you should say there is some milk in the carton. I need some paper to draw on and for countable there is a pizza on the table. So we should use some, any, a lot, much, little with an uncountable noun. Example, I need two jugs of water or I need some water. Whereas with countable noun, I should say I need two apples, I need four eggs and so on. Next, we are going to see what is concrete and abstract noun. A concrete noun refers to a physical object such as a dog, a ball or an ice cream. To be more specific, you can taste, see, hear, smell and touch your nouns or you can detect with your five senses. Some examples for concrete nouns are teacher, police officer, cat, pen, smartphones, where you can detect these nouns with your five senses. The food you can taste comes under concrete noun. Things which you can see, sounds which I can hear, the smells and the things which can be felt comes under concrete noun. Abstract noun. An abstract noun refers to an idea or concept that does not exist in the real world and cannot be touched like freedom, sadness or permission. Some states that come under abstract nouns are love, fear, anger, joy, excitement, courage, bravery, 
etc. Desire, creativity and uncertainty also come under abstract nouns. In simpler terms, an abstract noun is a noun which you cannot detect with your five senses. In general, feelings, ideas like knowledge, faith, imagination and qualities like bravery, hope, enthusiasm, loyalty, curiosity comes under abstract nouns. Hope the video was informative. Do let me know in the comments below if I need to post separate videos for each noun category and also comment below different nouns that comes in your mind under each noun type. Let the nouns not be repetitive. This activity helps to widen our knowledge about the topic and to master grammar quickly and easily. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share, like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see my newly posted videos like this. Bye-bye. Welcome to Simply...